Hi again. Welcome back to Mr. Ace Math. This lesson is on multiplying decimal. Some basic stuff you should know are uh, the basics of multiplication and basic addition. So make sure you know those and let's get started. So the first thing I want to go over is the rule. How exactly do we multiply decimals? Well, it's pretty much like the same thing as multiplying regular numbers, but there's just a simple rule for how you place the decimal in your answer. Now let's go over that. Step one is just multiply. Multiply like you normally would. Number two, count the decimal places in the question. Step three, move the decimal the same number of places in the answer. So, let's take an example. Let's say we have 5.75 times 0 0.6. So, we've got 5.75 times 0 0.6. So, our first step is to multiply. So, let's do that. We've got 6 times 5, and that's going to be 30. Bring down the 0, carry the 3. We've got 6 times 7, that's going to be 42, plus 3 is 45. Bring down the 5, carry the 4. And we've got 6 times 5, which is going to be 30. 30 plus 4 is 34. So we have our numbers here. Step 2. Count the decimal places in the question. Well, the decimal places are the places to the right of the decimal. Well, how many of those do we have? We have 1, 2, 3. We've got a total of three places. We've got the tenths place here, the hundredths place here, and the tenths place here. So, to the right of the decimal, we have one, two, three numbers. Therefore, in our answer, we're going to move the decimal the same number of places. So, we're going to start from here on the right, and then move our decimal three places. One, two, three. Place it there. So, our answer is 3.450. Another example, 0.26 times 9. Well, the same exact procedure. We'll start with multiplying. 9 times 6 is 54. Bring down the 4, carry the 5. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 5 is going to be 23. Bring down the 3, carry the 2. 9 times 0 is 0, and we add 2 to 0, and that gives us 2. Now, step 2 is to count the decimal places in the question. Well, how many decimal places do I have in the question? I have one here and one here, so I have a total of two places to the right of the decimal. So, that brings me to step three. I'm going to move the decimal the same number of places in my answer, starting from the right. So if I move my decimal two places from here, one, two, place it there, my final answer is 2.34. So how about this example? 0 0.175 times 0 0.15. Well, let's start with writing it down, and then step one is just to multiply, just like we normally would. We've got 5 times 5 is going to be 25, bring down the 5, carry the 2. Then we've got 7 times 5 is 35, plus 2 is 37, bring down the 7, carry the 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8, so we'll put the 8 right down there. And then 5 times 0 is just 0. Well, we still have more multiplying to do, because we still have to multiply by the 1. So, let's get rid of those numbers up top, put a placeholder, and then start our multiplication. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 7 is 7, and 1 times 1 is 1. And 1 times 0 is 0. We can always go into the extra place. So then, with these numbers, we just add them. We've got 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. Bring down the 2, carry the 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. Bring down the 6, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, plus this 1 here is 2. And then we can just bring that 0 down. Now step 2, we count the decimal places in the question. Well, how many places do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that's a total of 5 decimal places. Which means in step 3, we're going to move the decimal the same number of places. We're going to move the decimal in our answer five places to the left, starting from the right. So we'll move. One, two, three, four, five. Put our decimal there. Our final answer is 0 0.02625. And how about this example? 0 0.006 times 0 0.003. Well, let's write that down to multiply and start with step one, which is just multiply. We've got 3 times 6, which is 18. Bring down the 8, carry the 1. 3 times 0 is going to be 0. 
plus the one that we carried is going to be one. Now, everything that we have here, the rest is all zeros. So we don't really need to multiply. All that's going to do is give us a string of zeros. So it doesn't really matter. Step two, count the decimal places in the question. We have one, two, three, four, five, six decimal places. Six decimal places in our question, which brings us to step three. This means we have to move six decimal places in our answer. But the issue is we don't have enough places to move. So we'll move one, two places, but we still have how many more places to go? Well, if we had to move a total of six places and we've only moved two so far, well, we're going to have to annex four zeros. One, two, three, four. Now I can move the four extra spaces. That makes a total of six places. My final answer is 0 .000018. So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. When you're done, unpause the video. After a 3, 2, 1 countdown, your answer will be displayed. Go. So let's go over our answers. Number 1 is 2.31. Number 2 is 0 0.24. Number 3 is 3.552. Number 4 is 0 0.096. Number 5 is 3.555. Number 6 296.4. Number 7 0 0.7704 and number 8 0 0.014. So let's review this lesson. True or false? When multiplying decimals, the decimal points must be lined up. That is false. For which operations is this true? Addition and subtraction. There are blank steps to multiplying decimals. Well, there are three steps. The first step is to multiply the numbers, just like you normally would. The second step is to count the number of decimal places in the question. These are place values to the blank of the decimal point. To the right, remember. Decimal places are place values that are to the right of the decimal. The third step is to move the decimal to the left, the same number of total places as in the question. And if you need to move the decimal more place values than provided, then you must annex zeros. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.